Good morning. <laughs> to another edition of the Morning Cup. Yes. And Lois playing with her hair, even though I said we were going live. <laughs> <sighs> Lois, Lois, Lois. I know, right? Hopeless, man. Hopeless. Uh, oh, so instead of Lois, I'm hopeless? Yeah, you <laughs> That'll be your new nickname. No. <laughs> um, Renee's giving you the googly eyes, by the way, already. Right. Ah, Renee, I see you. I see you. <laughs> Good morning, guys, and thanks for joining us on this edition of the Morning Cup. Yes, thank you. And uh, for all of our new viewers out there, if you don't know what the Morning Cup is, that means you haven't been watching. <laughs> it doesn't. It, it isn't that sort of. Doesn't that sort of go along the lines of new viewers? That's, that, that's uh, why it was supposed to be funny, and you just <laughs> no, I suck the fun right out of no, life, I man. No, I didn't. <laughs> suck it out. <laughs> So the Morning Cup is a light entertainment show here in Page, Arizona. Yeah, it sort of balances everything else out. I don't know about that. Like, but <laughs> well, I mean, you figure the news, you know, yep. the news is, uh, more times than not, the news is tends to be depressing. And, it's not depressing. We don't do depressing. We, uh, we I, just do the news. I, I, right, but I, I try to stay away from the really seriously depressing things. But uh, so, so for those of you that don't know, our, our shows actually range from, we have the Morning Cup, which is light entertainment. We have <laughs> Controversy. Ah! Which is where talking heads talk and is biased. And then we have the news, which is unbiased. Yes. So, just so you know. Yes. And we have those other shows because, oh, oh, we're a TV station. And so we have, you know, a variety of programming. We'd love to have some more, but eh, we're working on it. <laughs> it takes time. It does. It does take time. <clears throat> so, it is finally Friggin' Friday. Yes, it is. Did, did you see my title over there? I, I, I did. I did. Um, finally Fantabulous Freaky Friday. Or when we can sneak up. <laughs> it's been a heck of a week, man. It has. It <sighs> has. And Gina's saying good morning. Good morning, Gina. Hi, Gina. <laughs> oh, and thanks, guys, for liking, sharing, and commenting on all of these videos. We really do appreciate it. It's sweet. Oh, yes. We have to do the shameless plug. Who's ready for the shameless plug? I guess I am. <laughs> you're either a member of the network or you're an enemy of the network. Show your loyalty and buy LPNN the shirt. <laughs> you can go to Amazon.com and type in LPNN the shirt or LPNN the premium shirt. And between 5 and $7 goes to LPNN to help fund the cause. Wait, I've always wanted to say this. This station is funded by you. For you. <laughs> I love it. I and, love it. Yeah. Just let it Oh, what? my goodness. Why are you making epic. fun of me, man? Oh, that is epic. But isn't that what the morning show's about? What? Making fun of each other? Uh, no. I, did, did I just not say making fun of each other? No. <laughs> That's just mean. We wouldn't do something like that. Really? Really? <laughs> did you see the face? What? Because I heard the face. <laughs> oh, there went Facebook. <laughs> Facebook down! Facebook! Oh, and there goes the internet. Internet down! <laughs> Welcome to the morning snafu as usual! You're gonna have to hit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think we've made fun of uh, Zuckerberg too many times. No, we haven't. We haven't made fun of him enough. Yeah, now we get to select that. Yeah. And then that. <laughs> Oh, look, I just got a notification that I was tagged in a post by myself. <laughs> Five minutes ago. Inception, man. It's Inception. <laughs> Luckily, it's still coming through so, on your phone. So, Gina's laughing, and um, I want to say it's Junior. Or JR. Or yes. JR. He says, says good, good morning. morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> so, uh, you know, and also for our new viewers, uh, if you're not, uh, you know, you obviously haven't seen the show before, uh, perhaps you may have seen an episode of the Nightly News. Our internet is absolutely amazing. It's the best internet in the world, right next to smoke signals and heliostats. <laughs> Although those may actually have better reception <laughs> than our internet. <laughs> We'd just like to throw that out there for you. So we do apologize if we're playing Max Hedrum over here, but hopefully the audio is coming through clearly. I was thinking more along the lines of Telegraph. <laughs> well, there is that too, but I think that that's a, that's a slightly more reliable <laughs> signal than what we have here. And so whenever you hear me say the words, the internet has gone to plaid, granted it is slightly in reference to space balls, but we have a color code bar over here that tells us how good our upload signal is, and it goes from green, yellow, red, various shades orange. of orange. And so when I say it's gone to plaid, that means it's not working. Again. <laughs> and 
Facebook has a new glitch that's been happening for the last week or so. Yep. Where as we're going live, Facebook goes, <laughs> <laughs> and it works so well. Oh. It's absolutely stunningly amazing. It's just, <laughs> it's the best thing in the world. So for those of you that are here on Facebook, if you would like a better viewing experience, please jump on over to YouTube and give the finger to Facebook. <laughs> <clears throat> Unfortunately, we cannot see the comments on YouTube at this time because one of the other things that we're <laughs> using for comments does not work either. So welcome to our world. We just wanted to put that out there for you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm telling oh, you, man. It, 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 one thing it's after a, another. It's a cornucopia of, of issues that, unfortunately, we can't control. I know, and it <laughs> sounds like one of those lame excuses. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it's not. I don't make excuses. I make stuff work, which is why we're here, even though we look like Max Hedrum and nothing functions like it's supposed to, because I keep jury rigging things and making it happen. <laughs> Except you can't fix the coding that you didn't write. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so uh, one of the things we are trying to work on is to upgrade our internet service from uh, from tin cans and string to possibly telegraph levels. Unfortunately, it's vastly more expensive than our current string setup. Uh, so if you are a local business or an international business and you'd like to sponsor any of LPN and stuff, please contact us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, I could give you more information. <laughs> yes, Lois will get a hold of you. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Dave says, how do you spell that? Because I want to say, when is Facebook not working? Hmm? <laughs> or, or not going? Hmm? I'm having issues reading. Oh. Let's see, how do you spell that? Because I want to say, when is Facebook not working? <laughs> I think that's what he's going uh, for. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call it that. <laughs> that was good enough. Maybe that little face. I think there's a, there's an emoticon face that's close enough. Like, <laughs> I tell you, man, oh and it just goodness. gets better and better every day. Although our internet is, it's like skipping. You know what? It's not gonna work. It's not, man. I'm not jinxing anything. Gina says yes. I like when Facebook says it can't play the video. Arg. Yeah, pretty much. And right? then um, Renee says all that and a bag of chips too. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much. I just, ugh. It's Was, so Wasabi flavored Oreos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just threw up a little in my mouth. That's nasty. You know what? You probably like those. Uh, probably. Blech. Probably. Blech. I, I, I would I would be willing to try one. You, oh, one. No. I hate wasabi and I don't like Oreos. So the, the combination <laughs> makes my eyes cross. <laughs> that is nasty. Oh, Gina found it. <laughs> Oh, she did. There you go. Is that close enough to the emoticon? There you go. And David's giving you the eyeballs. Oh, good to see you, Dave. Thanks for joining us. Oh, my goodness. So, you know, it just... I don't know. I just... Pretty much. Woosaw. Yeah. Woosaw. So, welcome to our, 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 our morning show again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, uh, you know, so we did some uh, some interesting and some exciting and some depressing things yesterday. Yes. Um, <clears throat> obviously, uh, at like 5 o'clock in the morning, we reported on the closure for Highway 89. Uh, thank you to our viewers out there who gave us a heads up because they were driving through the area when it happened. And they had to avoid the whole thing and go through the detour, which unfortunately for them added two plus hours to their road trip. So it yes. took them over four hours to get there. Oh, I, that's just... <laughs> you. So he let us know. We put up the post, and then you know what I decided to do, Lois. Wait, you do know what I, I decided I to do because you were here. I was. Yeah. I was. <laughs> I'm like, you know, we are the only local TV station here in town, and I'll bet you our viewers out there would like to hear some local news from their own local TV station instead of hearing it from Phoenix. So I got off my happy little butt and got in the car and went on down on site. Yes. To uh, bring that news to you live. Yes. And actually, you're, you're incorrect. We're the only TV news station in northern Arizona. Northern Arizona, southern Utah, yeah, yeah. East, or western New Mexico. <laughs> we could go round and round. <laughs> We're the only ones. <laughs> Why? Because we care about the community that we live in. <laughs> and, yes, actually, we do. And I just want to throw this out there. I have not seen... I have uh -oh. not seen a single other news station cover this 
other than by using other people's pictures and video. Just saying, were we the only ones out there? Uh, yes, yes. So that's how much LPNN cares about you. <laughs> we were actually so, out there. Nobody else came up. We're cut off from the world, and everyone's like, me. And we're like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, we did. We managed to cover it. It was interesting. Uh, you know, unfortunately, we weren't able to get as close as we wanted because they wanted everyone to stay safe. We had a lot of people who were like, "Oh, you should just sneak up there." Well, if I do that, then next time there's an incident, do you think they're going to let me in the area? Oh, I wasn't even thinking that. I was thinking with the amount of um, police presence. They I know. Would right? you. <laughs> I don't think they would have tackled me, but the guy he was very polite and very nice, very accommodating. But he asked me specifically, he's like, "Can you stay here so that we don't have to worry?" About it. I'm like, all right. <laughs> I, mean, you know, so I got some good pictures because I have a zoom lens, but the camera that we were using is wide angle. So yeah. <laughs> you probably should have taken my phone then. No, yours is still wide uh -oh, angle. Oh, so okay. It's a phone. It's, it's got a wide angle lens, oh, okay. man. It's just the way that works. Um, Renee, uh, real quick, Renee saying oh. no, that's nasty to the uh, wasabi Oreos. Yeah. And Gina says that she does like wasabi. Um, Gina is thanking you for going out, and well, thank you. so is Renee. She says, and we appreciate you. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, guys. Thank you for being a part of the network yes. and showing your loyalty by purchasing LPN <laughs> the shirt. Oh wait, they already did. <laughs> Good on you. <laughs> Make Amazon work. <laughs> yeah, put them to work, man. Put them to work. So I had, uh, speaking of all of the... Uh, oh my gosh, uh -oh. Gina says you would be doing the news behind bars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I probably would too. <laughs> we don't need that. Welcome to another edition of Behind Bars. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. No. Maybe we could just put bars up here. <laughs> Give me here. Give me here. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. I just, uh, uh No. There's no way I could do all of this. <laughs> so, the only people really that are on site that are reporting anything anymore, oh wait, other than us, uh, obviously we're not there right now because right. we're here in Homestead Studios uh, having fun with our internet and with Facebook. But the only people actually taking pictures would be the guys that are out there. Working. So we thought we would go ahead and share this with you guys. Check it out. Look at that. According to this, it says new uh, new ADOT crews continue f filming areas of US 89 where floodwaters washed away parts of the road between milepost 467 and 481. And then it's got the information mm -hmm. for the detour, which yep. is cool. But they've got if if you guys uh, watched the video yesterday, <laughs> which there was a lot, FYI. <laughs> yeah, there were. <laughs> um, if you guys watched the video yesterday, you could see that the, this uh, uh, earth excavator or earth mover was actually uh, reaching all the way down into the hole to get chunks of stuff and fill things out. Well, now he's on top of the hole, so they've been really, That's really cracking. Thing. That's a good thing. Yeah, and that was actually posted... Um, 12 hours ago. Yeah, 7 o'clock yesterday. It doesn't surprise me because with what they, what I saw that they were doing, it looked like they were going to get things together pretty quickly. So, nice, yeah. nice. And yeah, I remember um, unofficial estimates were... Four or five four, days. Four to five days. Yeah. So, woo! -hoo! Yeah. And it, I mean, <laughs> Not with, two years. <laughs> with, what they're, with what they're doing here, it could be even sooner. Who knows? Okay, yeah. I yeah. mean, they're just patching that thing right up. We'll, uh, have, to, <clears> we'll have to contact them again and... And see if their time time scale has changed, and uh, yeah. mm -hmm. if so, send you back out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was a long drive, man. Gina says, yay! And then another thing I wanted to show you guys was the alternate route, in case you didn't know about it. This is their alternate route. We'll just put that in the background while I talk about the next subject that I wanted to bring up. Uh-oh. So it, it's always nice to uh, talk to fans and, and engage with them or people that are curious about the news. Uh, but we had uh, several yesterday that uh, they decided they wanted to correct me on news stuff, which is interesting because I was sharing directly from expert sources. And I was like, hmm. <laughs> And once again, this is the morning show, which uh, does not mean it's unbiased. That would be the normal news. So the normal yes. news, you get the unbiased stuff. Here in the morning show and on controversy and probably a lot of other things that we do, <laughs> it can be biased, wacky, and completely insane. Uh, just just oh, putting wait. that out there. That, that sort of encompasses, that describes everything that we do. I know, right? <laughs> so I had a guy, well actually I had several guys on, on some of our posts, they're like, there, uh, so we, we put out the original post that said it was a sinkhole yes. that opened up. And and some people are like, well, it's not a sinkhole. 
It's not a sinkhole. And then they were trying to give me evidence to prove otherwise. I didn't call it a sinkhole. I did not call it a sinkhole. I copied and pasted Arizona Department of Public Safety's post before we went out there because I didn't have the, our own news. We had to go out there and cover that, but we wanted to get the word out. So I took their information and put it over here so that people would know what it is. If you have a problem with the terminology, you internet experts can take it up with the actual experts and try and argue your case. Just put that out there. And, and and now here's the complete irony of all of that. Uh, well, oh, yes. DPS did the same thing you did from a dot. Yeah. So, <laughs> in, 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 you know what? It, the terminology in the end, the terminology in the end doesn't actually matter. There's a big freaking hole in the road. What? We're cut off from Flagstaff. That's the that's that should be your takeaway. Not your your grammar is wrong or your, your terminology, terminology is wrong. Internet experts abide, I tell you, man. Anyway, you know, I, I, I was kind of like, well, you know, it does look like the road just sort of washed out. I mean, but if you go and you look at the technical definition of what a sinkhole is, one of them is it's an area where water runoff or rain runoff passes through and gathers slightly and then causes something to collapse. So no matter what, which way you look at it, that's what happened. So... <laughs> <laughs> now, now, what is a washout? Is it that the road actually didn't it just washed. drop, yeah. but it moved? <laughs> no, no. What I'm saying is, it's a place where rainwater gathers underneath something and collects. Right. That that that's the sinkhole. But I'm talking a washout. Is it is the washout um, the technical terminology or technical definition for a washout where the road didn't collapse like it did in this instance, but it actually went away? <laughs> oh, you know what? I don't really give a flying hoot. So. Either way, if you have nothing else better than to argue terminology, <laughs> you got some issues. Gina says ground fell. There's a hole. Ding, ding. <laughs> that's the takeaway. I'm just saying, that's the takeaway. And the takeaway is, the news is, the road's gone. <laughs> and then there was somebody else that's like, well, it doesn't really matter. They can just turn it into one lane and people can go through. No, they can't. The road's gone. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. It goes all the way across. Yeah. There are two lanes. Both lanes are gone. Road is yeah, gone. They disappear. <laughs> well, no, they didn't disappear, but and then there was a, There was a bunch of other people that were like, well, they should make it four lanes right there. It all would have fell down. <laughs> Same problem. <laughs> it doesn't but, matter. But you know what? In all honesty, for the people saying they should make it four lanes, mm -hmm. they're having to reconstruct anyway. <laughs> yeah, so but they're in the process. Why it's, not? Take it's only advantage? like 15 feet wide at that point. Oh, so okay. Are you going to make a 15-foot section of road four lanes? I mean, can you be like... <laughs> I don't see it happening. I really don't. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. Oh, Dave says trolls are going to troll. Oh, I know. Believe me, I know. Oh, it's, it's just it fun. Was fun. It, it was fun. It I was, was just fun. like, don't you have anything else better to do with your day? <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> and and Renee says, yes, it floats away on the water for, for a wash. Yeah. For a wash away or wash out or whatever. Either <laughs> way. <laughs> Like I said, take it up with the experts. We are just out there reporting the news. That's what I, we do. You know, I did like Dave's suggestion, though. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Dukes of Hazard. Yes. <laughs> yes, Dukes of Hazard. But we can do it. <laughs> Especially if he was doing it in his Prius. That would be amazing. Uh, that would be. That would be. <laughs> I'd pay to see that. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> well, goodness. if I had any money, I'd pay to see that. Yeah. <laughs> Here, here's your 50 cents. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, yeah, that, that, that was boiling down yesterday. And then, let's see, last night, so it was, it was a crazy day yesterday. It was. You were supposed to get homework done. Uh, yeah, that was not happening. That definitely, <laughs> definitely did not happen. No, it She was not. too busy responding to comments and trying to get things working on the backside over here. Well, I was out, you know, doing a little shindig out on Highway 89 in the middle of nowhere. Yes. And Gina says it would take longer to reopen if they widened it. Yes, it would. Yes, it, it, it would. <laughs> and they're trying to make it go as quickly as possible. Yes, they are. <laughs> Unlike the last time Highway 89 had an issue where it took two years to restore <laughs> that particular section of road. 
Well, they also had more technical difficulties with, with that re- resolution. No, that, that one was they? mostly analytical problems. They were trying to figure out what happened and couldn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> they like, the road fell off the side of the mountain and we don't know why. <laughs> like, well, it doesn't really matter how much you just fix it. They're like, no, we must understand. <laughs> well, in a way that makes sense, so that way they could try to mitigate it happening again. <laughs> they never actually figured out why. Oh, no! <laughs> Some people thought it was this, some of them thought it was this. There was like an equal probability of what it was that happened, and they're like, eh, finally in the end, like, we'll just rebuild it. (laughs) You could have done that two years ago. Thanks. Oh, no. (laughs) But anyway, yeah. (laughs) So, yeah, you had an interesting day yesterday, and then then you got to go, what? Dave says before he retires that car, it will be airborne. Nice. (laughs) You know, I've actually seen a Tesla go airborne. That one was pretty cool. It wasn't a whole bunch, but it it, it did. It was kind of cool. And Renee says, just lay down the Hot Wheel track first so he can fly better. <laughs> there you go. There you oh, go. Oh, that's good. But, oh, um, my goodness. So, so last night, you got to go to the chamber mixer. I did. I did. Yeah, that's exciting. Very exciting. I, I met some very interesting people. Yes, yes you did. Um, and... And they had, what was it, a chili cook-off? Yeah, they did, they did, but um, I was, uh, so I, I think some people saw me as being a little snobbish because I only tried one, but it was because I knew dinner was waiting for me. Yes, I was, <laughs> cooking, I was cooking dinner and getting ready to do the news while she was there, so she was being <laughs> polite to <laughs> me Yeah, and waiting and my until tummy. she got home. Yeah. <laughs> She was waiting until um, she got home. So, uh. Yeah, I, I was, but I did try. I did try one that sounded really interesting because of its ingredients. Yes. And oh my goodness! Yeah, that was, it was. It was really good. Yeah. <laughs> it was. It was epically good, and um, it, it was called uh, Three Sisters Chili. And I've lived here for two and a half years, almost three years now, and I've heard the term, but it didn't click. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it didn't click. And I asked, you know... What is the three sisters? What is the three sisters? And um, the the gentleman who had cooked it explained it to me. And I went, oh, yeah, huh? Oh. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's the three cups they plant together so that you can... You know, uh, yeah, yeah. Because they complement each other. Uh, they, oh, what nice they do. And this one was just... I, I was speaking to a young gentleman last night and did not realize who he was when I was speaking to him. But I told him, you know, that it was it, just... All the flavors, the textures, the whole kit and caboodle in this chili. Just to it, die for. It, it really was. I wish and you would have brought was, me some home uh, smoke. Yeah, right? well. <laughs> Just saying. I don't think they would have let me. <laughs> um... But it was just very beautiful uh, in in flavor and texture, and it, yeah, it definitely needs to be on that place. Could menu. you could you say it was hands down the best chili you've ever had in your life? No. Okay. Just check it. I mean, you're 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 going on about it, so I I, I am, but um, t- it wasn't to me. It wasn't what uh, somebody would expect as a chili. It was more like a stew. Oh, okay. Um, right. but uh, it just it was really really good. Now, when it comes to chili, for me, I have a certain taste. I I'm biased. I I like my she chili. She likes the hot stuff. I do, I do, and it's it cracked me up that that the uh, cook had mentioned to several people be careful because it does have you know a, a slow burn uh, to it, and you know <laughs> it didn't. But you know my de- my definition of slow burn is it doesn't burn going down, it burns coming out. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> That's why I don't eat hot food anymore. Apparently. Whatever takes that out doesn't work so well anymore. <laughs> I'm getting old. <laughs> but it was it was very beautifully done. Um, they add a certain type of cheese to it. Didn't and you say there was elk and, yes, and, and buffalo? And buffalo. Yes. In, in the, I it, mean, was it was very good. It was very good. And this place definitely, I, I I had mentioned that they should at least put it on their winter menu. Uh, I agree with it because um, just hearing about it, I'm like, mm, <laughs> of course, you know, with it having elk and buffalo in it, and the three sisters, and and all of the other stuff, it's probably like fifty dollars for a bowl of chili. Probably just because the ingredients are so six. <laughs> no, I cannot afford your chili. So and, you know, instead yeah. of being able to afford their amazing stuff, I'm just gonna crack open a can of Hormel and grab a spoon. 
Because there's <laughs> nothing like that orange slick on top of a can of Hormel chili. It makes me think of my childhood. It's amazing. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so Gina's saying waste of taxpayers' money, but that's another show for the extending the, the huh? road. Um, to, oh, for instead of the road, yeah. yeah. And uh, Dave says people use the word chili kind of loosely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, it's got meat and beans. It's chili. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, <laughs> Carrie's giving the the poop emoji. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's that is what happens afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> and Gina says that she hasn't eaten buffalo, but she loves elk. Buffalo is epic. It is. Mm, so tasty. It is. So tasty. And elk, uh, and this was apparently a spicy elk sausage. Oh, it was oh. really good. I, it, I'm dying. Was... Stop it. You're killing <laughs> me. I'd eat this stuff for breakfast, man. And oh. it, it would be, um, one of the things, you mentioned breakfast, uh, one of the things that this would work really well for is a camping breakfast. <laughs> I mean, it, it has all the things that you need to get your energy going. And it just... It and get would, that gas flow for the day moving along. Not what I was referring to. <laughs> no, I'm hungry. Oh, that's your fault. <laughs> you brought up what I did last night. This is true. This is true. <laughs> so, yep. <Yeah. laughs> Gina says no red poop emojis. <laughs> <laughs> but you can do the poop emoji and then one of those ones that's like... <gasps> There's a freeze frame. Maybe we can catch that no. in the morning. You know? It burns! It burns! Oh, my goodness. The power of chili oh. compels you. The power of chili compels you. They're Renee saying jet propulsion. <laughs> Pretty much. And uh, Dave says, we have those there, too. Huh? Uh, chamber pots. Oh. <laughs> that is true. It is awesome. I didn't think about it. You got the bed pan. It's technically a chamber pot, but it's modern. Oh, my. <laughs> Funny. At least you guys don't throw it out the window that we know about. Oh, oh, no. I can't believe you went there. Oh, wait, yeah, I can. I was like, it's me. Really? Come on, man, come on. No. So, yeah, that, that was uh, the exciting parts of last night. What? Yeah. It just, it was a busy freaking day. It was. Really busy. Whew. Definitely, it was. I was making a lot of phone calls trying to get access for you, and and <laughs> it was responding funny. to emails. And uh, so we got to get into that a little bit. So we were trying. We called. I don't know how many times did you call that person? Um, I called her twice. I called um, places here. Several places here. I called several places down in Nobody <laughs> would call us back. They were just like, oh, it's a voice. And then, and then I contacted a place down in Phoenix, and they do the automated thing, and they say, for a faster response, email Wait, us. Wait, I'm not done yet. <laughs> You're jumping ahead of the story here. <laughs> so we're waiting on all this information to get, so that hopefully when I get on scene, I'll be able to go past the roadblock and then get video footage for you guys and pictures so that the people that live here that are most affected by this particular problem can see what's going on. No one would get back to us because, well, it's voicemail. No one friggin' answers voicemail, right? Apparently not. And so I'm like, I'm like, that's it, to hell with it. I'm just gonna go and we're gonna try and negotiate on scene or she's gonna get a hold of somebody while I'm driving because it's a ways out there. And, uh, and so I just, I just, I said, that's it. I loaded up the gear and off I went. And uh, then you found out that uh, from from the voicemail from the place in Phoenix, uh -huh. that the best way to get hold of them was apparently through email because they don't answer their phones. <laughs> yeah, the quickest way. The quickest uh, way. No, the only through. way because they still haven't got back to our phone calls. <laughs> <laughs> so you emailed them, they responded about like three seconds. Uh, it, it, ultimately, yeah. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, it's cool that you got the whole 21st century thing down, but you might as well turn your damn phones off. You're not answering them. You're not responding to voicemails. Hey, it's I know you're the government and you like spending that extra cash that you're taking from everybody, but maybe if you're not going to use them, turn them off. What you saying? Or, or and now, now what would have been helpful is had the people I had to contact... Mm -hmm. Um, put on their voicemail message for faster response. Yeah, actually put it in there. But you actually had to call around and then down to Phoenix I did. before you I found did. out. <laughs> but that is typical government deficiency. It, it is, it is. So that took, that took quite a bit. It did take quite a bit. 
So my favorite part of this whole story is from my end where I'm at. I get through. I get down there to the roadblock, and they're like, uh, oh, I guess I what? could probably go through. Um, DPS and law enforcement are down there. You'll have to talk to them. And I'm like, okay, thanks. And so I get to drive past the roadblock, which was kind of neat. And then I start driving down. And from the distance from the roadblock to where I was, I was like the only person on the road. It was so weird. <laughs> Middle of the day. And I'm just like... Doo, 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 doo. You know, when I was at the, at, at the um, chamber mixer last night, huh? uh, <laughs> we were talking, a, a couple of people and myself were talking about that. And... um you know, and I had mentioned that it was eerie that you were, you know, the only person on the road. And we determined that when the apocalypse hits, mm -hmm. you now know what it feels like. So you have that experience. I was actually, <laughs> actually going to say, I was very excited because it felt very apocalyptic. And it was like... <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, in my head, I already knew that it was only this section of the road. But I was just like, oh... <laughs> Oh, it was it was lovely, and so I uh, you know I, I drive down and uh, you know I have a couple of DPS vehicles pass me going the other way. I was the whole time I was thinking I'm like man they're gonna pull me over like what are you doing back here? Nope they didn't bother me. So I got all the way up to the next section of roadblock area, talked to those guys and they let me set up. They were very friendly, very helpful. It was uh, the Navajo Police Department. Those guys were awesome out there, and uh, and uh, there was DPS out there as well. Very friendly, and they, they let me set up. And, you know, you had all this law enforcement. You had ADOT, and you had LPNN standing right there going, Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only person here. <laughs> so that is funny, but the funnier part was, well, while I was down there, I, I, I you, you called me, I think it was, and you're like, okay, I finally got a hold of somebody. And they say that they're not going to be able to be there until like 2.30. So you should call this guy and and talk to him about doing something down there. And I'm like, I'm not calling him. I'm already standing right here. <laughs> and if he's not going to show up until 2.30, meh, I'll be long gone by then. <laughs> I'm already here, man. Infiltration was successful. <laughs> LPNN was on the scene. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah, so so coordination uh, a little a little odd, but uh, well, that's at, what happens when you live in the middle of nowhere. At least now I know how you know who I need to contact, how I need to contact yeah. them, <laughs> and then we'll just go ahead and do it our own way and be more effective. Uh, no, I think we'll just have everything cleared up before you even leave. I know. Well, it's just funny that you were like, "Well, you need to call this guy." I'm like, "No, I don't. I'm already here." <laughs> Like, why do I need to call somebody? He'd be like, no, you can't be there. Like, well, I'm already here. You're going to stop me? <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> um, so, Harlan, uh, going back to the to the chili thing, oh. Harlan says mountain lion burgers. Mountain lion? I have not tried that. And neither have I. I would be willing to give it a shot, yeah. yeah. Although I've heard mountain lion's a bit gamey, so I don't know. A, a lot of things are a bit gamey. Yeah, yeah but so. I don't... Yeah. You know, I have limits. Oh. <laughs> I do. I mean, I don't... It, it, it just... Yeah. Mm -mm. No, okay. No. But i give it a shot. i definitely give it a shot. I would give it a try. Um, and Dave says, ask forgiveness before permission. And Which uh, is what my plan was the entire way while she was trying to go through official channels. I'm like, eh, I'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> and Gina says, hope you never have to again. Yes. Definitely. But, um, uh, yeah. But. Asking for permission for things... For access to things is is very helpful when it comes to the, uh, <laughs> occurrences <laughs> other than a road disappearing too. Well, so it and, just, and then either way, you know, your your intrepid reporter over here from LPNN will find a way. Yes, yes. <laughs> and Harlan says hello from Pinion, leaving for Page today. Oh, I hope you're not coming up from the south. <laughs> I don't know where Pinion is. I don't know. I, I think it's in it New Mexico. Oh. Oh, that's, oh, that's right. I forget. I always forget that. Harlan <laughs> is over in New Mexico, for those of you guys who don't know. He's always um, bouncing around doing something. Yeah, he is. <laughs> and Renee says ostrich is good, too. I've had ostrich egg. I have not had ostrich ostrich. I haven't had either. Hmm. Uh, ostrich eggs is ridiculous. <laughs> uh, I've seen <laughs> ostrich eggs. So I just... Uh, no. Yeah. I haven't tried them. 
<laughs> so anyway, yeah, don't just uh, you know, don't you worry about it. Well, you know, I will find a way. It, yes, that's what this yes, boils down will. to. You know, we've gone through a circuitous kind of <laughs> interrupting routes of, of stuff. But oh, uh, speaking of which, uh, since we're interrupting and going off on tangents and, and all of that sort that's of thing, that's what we do. Uh, no, that's what you do. It's what we uh, do on the morning show. Uh, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, our uh, our. Our uh, hardcore fan that is a graphic designer has come up with uh, some uh, some imagery that I've been waiting for, so it is very possible that sometime in the near future, LPNN the hoodie will be a viable product, and you will be able to show your loyalty. Because remember, you're either part of the network or an enemy of the network. So what do you consider very near future? Uh, probably the next day or so. I'm going to try Yay! to throw something together. That's if it works out. If, if I don't like it, we're going to have to work some more on it. Well, yeah, I know. Because I know, only quality products for the loyal members of LPNN. They have to show people that they are loyal to the network. <laughs> and not an enemy of the network. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> so that is the next product that's coming out is LPNN the hoodie. Yay! It'll be interesting, and uh, and uh, I'm just going to put it out there. Since we're on the morning show, it's going to have Rupert on it. <laughs> yes. And for those of you guys that don't remember, Rupert, he's actually an RPT, which is a rocket-propelled turtle. We had a long discussion about this uh, quite some time ago. But yes, he's a rocket-propelled turtle, or an RPT, which is how he got his name Rupert. Yes. Because he's a rocket-propelled turtle. And Dave's saying, Hoody! <laughs> <Woo! laughs> and the blowfish? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, what, you know, I don't really have uh, much control over what the cost is going to be. I don't even know how much it's going to be yet, because that's an Amazon thing. Yes. But we will get a very tiny percentage of, of uh, each sale, which will help keep LPNN alive. Yes. And other ways to help keep LPNN alive, we have uh, Behind the Hat Unplugged, which is a $10 a month subscription to the behind the scenes of what happens here in LPNN that we most certainly cannot share on our main news page. Uh-uh. Just say <laughs> So that's one. That's another way you can support us. Another way you can support us is uh, is by uh, finding local businesses, beating them up, and shaking them down for change, or telling okay. them to uh, sponsor us. <laughs> I, yeah, that that suggesting sponsorship. Is, uh, I, you don't I like condone. shaking down people for uh, loose change? No. Not even lunch money? Uh, no. <sighs> it's terrible. I, I was one of those victims. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, you're one of those. I am. I, I was one of those. But, you know, it helped create character. It yep, helped it create... Uh, well, you're definitely skin. a character now. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so there, there's a bunch of ways you guys can support us. And the number one way that we get support from you guys is when you like, comment, and share on these posts. Because it helps defeat Zuckerberg's... Zuckerberg's... Zuckerberg. Almighty... <laughs> Almighty algorithm of doom. Yeah. So and, just keep and be aware tell of that. your friends and family. Yeah. Well, that, that would be part of uh, liking, sharing, commenting. Yeah. True. Mm -hmm. True. So, <laughs> just saying. Oh, <laughs> man. I can't believe it's already Friday. I put up there that the weekend snuck up because it kind of did. It like, did. it felt like the week just drug on and then, bam, all of a sudden we're here. And it's it, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Friday. 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 It is. It is. <laughs> oh, yeah. And if it's your uh, recycling day, don't forget it's your recycling day. <laughs> it's the green one. <laughs> oh, and Gina says she's trying. And uh, Mario says, good morning. Happy Friday. Morning, Mario. Morning. Good to see you. Thanks for joining. We appreciate it. All right. So you got, you, you sent over a bunch of stuff. I know we've been, we've been yakking about yesterday's activities and adventures and all that. Shenanigans. Weird stuff. But I, it's, you know, on the morning show, we usually find some interesting things or Lois uh, finds some as well. And well, we share them with you because it's yeah. like, wait, what? <laughs> Oh, oh there's all a lot of wait what? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so what do, what do you got here? I um, love your comments. So <laughs> she she'll have she'll put a comment and then a link. So we have to try and it's like it's like link roulette. <laughs> but her her comments are hilarious. We have really, dude, seriously, <laughs> <laughs> and then another one, really. <laughs> These are the comments next to links over his Oh, goodness. All right, so, so what do you want to dive into right now, Lois? Uh, let's go with the really dude. Really dude? Uh, pretty much. Oh, or boy. Really, really, just, oh, my. This one actually made national headlines. Oh, I saw this yesterday. And yeah. it just, it, it's one of those, it's, it's a facepalm moment 
and just I do so many of those I can't do them anymore. <laughs> um, so, it j yeah, this is one of those things that um, you you might have a you might have a problem. <laughs> Here's the headline, guys: American Airlines flight diverted after passenger refused to stop doing pull-ups on a plane. He he got up on one of the luggage compartments and was just doing pull-ups and he wouldn't stop, so they had to divert the plane. Yep. What? <laughs> I understand if you got like a workout fetish or something, but you got a plane diverted and you're probably now on a no flight list. What? <laughs> was it worth it? You know, you know what, what's that? Uh, what's that saying? Do you even work out, bro? Well, apparently this guy does, and now he's famous because he got a plane diverted and he's on a no fly list. Good on you, dude. <laughs> So what Was makes, it that important to get those few extra <laughs> reps in? I mean, what makes this even better though is he was he was being a smart ass. Oh, he was. He was oh. because he was putting stuff up, and some guy and and he stopped. And I've done this before, mm -hmm. you know, where you're thinking, and and so he just stopped and hesitated. Mm -hmm. And one of the other passengers asked him if he was going to do pull ups. And and <laughs> you you know. <laughs> You should have probably passed out of that phase when you were like 10. <laughs> Just because someone dares you, double dog dares you, triple dog dares you, doesn't mean you actually have to do it. <laughs> Uh, you know, I just 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 a pointer for for a little a little life tip, if you will. <clears throat> now, now on, on top of all of this, he he was um, traveling with a, a female companion. Okay. So I know she's just uh, whether it's his wife or his girlfriend. Is she going, she just like you've oh. got to be kidding me? <laughs> like I don't know him. <laughs> I do not know him. Uh, yeah, and two dogs. <laughs> <laughs> so. I, <clears throat> I want to know. So, so this is the thing with this. All right. So the guy obviously accepted, you know, challenge accepted on the, on the whole pull-ups thing, and refused to stop doing pull-ups, which is why they diverted the plane. Now, I mean, if you've gone this far, did he go the rest of the way? Did he continue to do pull-ups until that plane landed? I want to know. And if you didn't. You, sir, are a pile of poo. Because if you're going to get a plane diverted, man, go big or go home. You keep going on that sucker. You're already screwed. You might as well show off. I just keep doing... Uh, uh, uh. I'm just saying. <laughs> what is going on Dave over here? says American Airlines is against personal health. Apparently so. <laughs> and millennials unite. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag snowflakes are stupid. <laughs> <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, I just, oh my! I said, "Go big or go home." I mean, did he did he continue to do them the entire it, way? It they were actually doesn't before? say, oh. but um, part of it is um, he was he is believed to have been highly intoxicated. Well, good on him <laughs> if he can do that many pull ups while he's drunk. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> Hats off to you. Um, so far, he has not been charged with anything. I'm trying to figure out exactly. So, for for you guys out there that are pilots, what would make you decide to divert, to divert a flight? I mean, apparently for these pilots, it was the guy doing pull-ups. Was there danger of him depressurizing the plane from pulling down the overhead compartment or something? I mean, what? he was he on top of doing the the pull-ups, um, he ended up becoming verbally abusive with the flight staff. Because they were telling him to quit, and he said no. It, it, yeah, and he started becoming verbally abusive. All right, I guess that's a little bit. I guess that's a little bit better of a reason to divert your flight. Don't, I was just, I was just like, I mean, you're gonna divert a flight over. Just, uh, but I guess if he was, you know, starting to yeah. get confrontational, he was, he and was. you know, he's already buffed up and drunk and ready to rock. So, so I guess he could have gone anywhere. So don't get intoxicated and do pull-ups on a plane. Yeah, no <laughs> yourself. Note to yourself. Yeah. Oh, that man. should not be a goal. <laughs> Mel, you were talking about millennials. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Scroll down. Actually, I don't remember. Said millennial, right? um, I, do, 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 do. Okay, very bottom link. This one here? Yeah, that one there. And it's a slideshow. But um, we can we can just talk about it. I was going to say, let's talk about it because you know how our internet goes. Yeah, yes, so. yes. Maybe. Oh, there we go. So hit get started. What? 
Oh. That right there. All right, there we go. And so this is a list that a group of millennials have put together. Um, they work at a company called Offbeat, and they're okay. they're one of those informational um, sites. Oh, information. And, you mean the you mean the information that never gets verified? Uh, pretty much. And so this is all opinion. Yeah, this and, is an opinion piece. And these are twenty five foods that this group of people, number one, think baby baby boomers are continuing to have um what's what's the word i'm looking for i have no idea you've completely lost uh, sorry so these are 25 foods that they feel that baby boomers think are cool and should go away okay so these guys want it to go away because they think it's dumb but they say that baby boomers like it and it's gonna stick around it, yes that's the title of this by the way this is 25 food Foods baby boomers think are cool. And and if you go back one page, it actually says, and they need to go away. And, oh, and they need to go away. <laughs> According to this organization <laughs> of amazingly intelligent bipeds. Oh, oh, uh -oh. Gina says, new movie, pull-ups on a plane. <laughs> <laughs> Don't need no mother <laughs> pull-ups on a plane. <laughs> <laughs> and David says, who are millennials... Um, United uh, supporting in the elections. <laughs> Who knows? Whatever it is, go the opposite of them, and we might survive. Uh, maybe. <laughs> All right, so 25 foods baby boomers think are cool, but these guys think need to go away. Yes, yes. All right, so the number one on the list is plain toast. I personally don't care for plain toast, but no. really... Mm -hmm. I, I, mean, like, I like a little like, butter. Uh, so do I. And preferably real over the plastic uh, uh, margarine. Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, although if I'm in a hurry, the margarine spreads easier, so. Uh, yeah. It depends <laughs> on the day. But, uh, yeah, plain toast apparently is... is, uh, uh, is and, cool. and apparently, you know, plain toast or any of these are encroaching. <laughs> encroaching? Uh, 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 are encroaching on this group. Oh, yeah, you know, it, it offends them. It. It, it, Watch it. out. <laughs> Your plain white toast is offending them because that white toast has white hey, privilege. what about wheat? <laughs> well, that's a different kind of privilege. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. So what, what I'm going with with this is that uh, perhaps they uh, they accidentally watched the Blues Brothers at some point and uh, they wanted some dry white toast. <laughs> <laughs> Ding! Oh, probably. <laughs> In, in in what type of mental state? You know what? They probably watched it and assumed that's what everyone was actually like. That's what historians from the future are going to be. They're going to watch a movie and be like, wow, those guys were nuts. <laughs> like, dude, it's a movie. But they, would, they won't understand it. And apparently we're already there with the millennials. They're like, they're like, oh, that, we saw that in a movie. It must be true. <laughs> that's why the world is the way it is. You guys screwed it up because you think <laughs> movies are real. And video games. And everything on the internet is real. Or true. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, God, would you? Uh, there we go. All right. Um, I, okay. So another food is Mrs. Dash original. So apparently Mrs. Dash is on their uh, list. Yes. They have a little and saying And it's a seasoning. Yeah, I know what it is. Uh, I, I've heard letting, of it. Yeah. Our, Mrs. Dash is a seasoning. Yes. A lot of people use it. I I don't think I ever actually have. But it says here, it says, there are a world of spices out there, but you guys are just going to keep on using Mrs. Dash to spice everything? Okay, whatever. This is this is from them. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> oh, we respect your opinions so much. <laughs> Meatloaf. Who doesn't like a good meatloaf? Well, I like meatloaf if it is done well. The the old traditional way that my grandmother used to, not so much. Well, when I make a meatloaf, I, I make, you know, there's a specific set of ingredients I put in the meat itself, but then I spread it into a very large disc, similar to a, a, a pizza crust, and then I layer down different kinds of cheeses and then lay broccoli on it, and then I take the whole thing and roll it up like a giant burrito, and then I cook it. Oh, so <laughs> Very good. But apparently meatloaf is, is offending them as uh, yeah. well. Yeah. It just, it's like, <coughs> oh, wait a minute here, guys. Yeah. Now, meatloaf. remember, they're saying baby boomers. Baby boomers, right, yeah. Okay. And the, there's a reason I'm reiterating that. And I think it's because of the next slide. Well, yes, but I would like to read their little comment on this. It says, looks gross, tastes bland. There's a reason hipster food is so popular, you know. Um... Apparently, whoever you had cooking it didn't know what the hell they were doing. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> All right. Let's see what else we got here. 
Oh, no, it wasn't this one. Sorry. Okay, I was going to say... Okay. <laughs> so, you know, I... Mayonnaise-based salads with fruit. And in this picture, what is it, grapes and broccoli? Yes, it's a broccoli salad. Huh, with mayo in it? Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever tried that. It, it, it is actually really good. Oh, okay. And by yeah. the way, it's not just baby boomers that like it. Yeah, all right. All right. <laughs> And here in their picture, they say, they sure, they say, sure, we millennials drink kombucha and eat sprouted nuts, but at least we don't eat broccoli grape salad covered in mayo. <laughs> I mean, if it's what you like, it's what you like. Yeah. <laughs> what else we got here? Oh, see, I, this what, one, what, what, what? this one, um, has gone, ha, has for the most part gone away. Uh, okay. Oh, so you mean it's like not uh, actually yeah. popular anymore, but these guys think uh, it is. Right. They probably saw it in another movie. Uh, probably. Savory Jello products. That doesn't. I mean, it so was it's the Jello, Jello salad. fruit salads. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No. No. This is not a fruit salad. This is a savory. It's not a sweet. Oh. This has tomatoes. It looks like uh like I have some never kind of seen olives. One of those. And, uh, yeah. Me either. It, yeah. No. That is very strange. So, yeah, and, and that's an ad from the 70s. Yeah. And they're saying it's still around. Uh, really? Yeah. I mean, what the... <laughs> Uh-oh, this one I've seen. <laughs> Juice from a concentrate. You know the ones you buy in the freezer section in the little can? And then you open that it up. That are a lot cheaper than the freaking... Yeah, they're like a buck. <laughs> <laughs> you plop it into a pitcher, you mix three, four cans of water, depending on the kind of juice yep. you got, and then you drink it. Yeah. Apparently, they think that should go away. And they, they also think baby boomers are the ones keeping them alive. Yeah, I'm not going with that. <laughs> and then, so their quote on this one is, why, why not drink fresh juice? And you can pour it straight from the carton instead of thawing it and putting it in water and waiting for it. I'll tell you why. Because fresh juice costs like $10 a carton. This costs a dollar for a gallon. I have an even better one. The, what is fresh juice? Yeah, that's a good question. They're, they're, they're emphasizing the word fresh in this. That's and, true. And uh, that means you're squeezing it yourself, you dingle bat. Yeah. Well, that is actually like a craze nowadays. People are like juicing broccoli, man. It, uh, yeah. <laughs> and juicing asparagus. I've seen it. It's a story. <laughs> and um, Gina's asking, and how are they planning on getting rid of these things? I don't know. Oh, yeah. And, this one, I, this one I, I, I kind of, I mean, you got to do what you got to do. Uh, you do. But TV dinners. <laughs> Hey, man, if you're in a hurry and it's all you got or it's all you can afford, although, you know, I take that back because TV dinners, you used to be able to get for like a dollar. And, you know, it was like the bare bones, basic stuff that you needed to survive and probably kill you in the long run because of the amount of nitrates and other stuff in it. But at least you could eat. Nowadays, they have gourmet TV <laughs> dinners. You know, they got like the Marie Collender's this, and they've got the the ultra high end that. Dude, it's a freaking TV dinner with a different label on it. <laughs> Just saying. So who's bringing that to lights? Because they, they've got a picture of an old school uh, yes. TV dinner in in the in the tray in the foil tr or aluminum. Yeah, and they and it's like they've come up with all kinds of new ones to specifically cater to you idiots. So, <laughs> no. Just <They> saying. <laughs> TV dinner is a TV dinner. Whether No matter how much you polish that turd, it's still a turd. <laughs> Just saying. I don't care how glossy it is, and, there is turd underneath. And I'm thinking for the, the jello salad, mm -hmm. uh, Renee saying, I need the vomit emoji. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, this actually goes to the thing, you know, no matter how much you polish a turd, it's still a turd, and TV dinners make a turd so that you can stay oh, alive. Good Lord. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God, man, <laughs> All right, let's see what else we got in this thing. What is it? Buffets. <laughs> Buffets. Because, you know, baby boomers. Yeah, right? Uh, it's like, really, guys? Really? Is, yeah, well, you know, what is it? There's like King's Tables, Country Buffet. Chinese food restaurants that have them, it's buffets. I am not a huge fan of buffets for some other reasons. Right. I can't say them on TV. And, and, <laughs> and, you know, I have seen some buffets where it's packed with millennials. Yeah. Guess what, guys? <laughs> yeah, it, it, so it, it just, I, I, and it's got a picture of a buffet. And, you know, like if you go to Vegas, every freaking hotel's got a buffet. Yeah. Because they're popular. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I, I just don't understand. 
And so here it says, you shouldn't eat at a place that serves as much steak, lobster, pancakes, and Chinese food as you can eat because it's probably low quality. It doesn't matter. You make up for quality with quantity. <laughs> Obviously, you have not learned this particular <laughs> life skill. <laughs> so shut up. <laughs> All right, we got enough time for a couple more, I think, and then we got to get out of here. <clears throat> what? Because <laughs> baby boomers are keeping... This is the one I was talking about. Yes, remember... <laughs> This is 25 <laughs> foods that baby booners think are cool and that are trying to keep alive and won't let die. <laughs> this one is chain restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even respond to it. <laughs> Do you know what Starbucks is, <laughs> you man bun moron? <laughs> I'm just saying. I, oh, <laughs> Oh my! I can't! Chain restaurants are only around because baby boomers want them to stay? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously you don't know what that is. I mean, how many chain restaurants have sprung up with, and I use that term, you know, kind of in the same, you know, like, uh, uh, what is that, that wheatgrass that springs up. Look, we'll, we'll make this and sell it. Even though it tastes like a turd, people will eat it because they think it's cool. And guess what? You guys eat that crap up. I mean, literally, and then it becomes, a, you know, a national chain or something because it's popular. And that would be a chain. <laughs> Starbucks, where you get your large coffee or vente or whatever the heck you want to call it. Yeah, that is also a chain. So Dave says, good God, we seriously need to find the money trees these millennials are planting. I know. And Gina says, some of the items were put together um, because people were poor. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And apparently these millennials are able to get anything they want. And I know why. Because they still live in the basement with their parents who apparently they despise because those guys are still trying to make it work while they are sucking the life out of them. Just saying. Get out of the basement, <laughs> make your own money, and go figure it out. And, and my biggest question to this is how, I mean, really, you you are an adult in theory. Uh, <laughs> no. I said no, in theory. No, you are not. In theory, what, you, uh, you are an adult. Um, to the people who, who put this list together. No. You have a choice as to whether or not you eat or participate in anything on these lists. But see, that's the problem. That's why they hate all of these things that baby boomers have, because since they live in the basement, these are the things that they're exposed to, and they can't afford to do anything else, so they're just lashing out saying, the old people need to change because I don't like this stuff anymore. I need different freebies. Mm. <laughs> mm. I need a different freebie. <laughs> Shut up! Get out of the basement! Get a job! Get your own and, stuff. And um, Jean is also saying some are not the buffets and chain restaurants. And <laughs> David says uh, Swanson or banquet dinners from my for my TV. But they're saying, <laughs> you know, apparently these guys just need to grow up. All right, so we're, we're, we're way past time today. Um, thank you guys so much for for joining us. Thank you for being a part of the network, and thank you for liking, commenting, and sharing on all these posts. It really does help defeat. The Zucks algorithm. Yes. <laughs> we will catch you on the next one. Have an amazing day. Make it an amazing day. And it is Friday. Oh, oh, and one real quick thing. Yeah. I don't remember what time, but to, tonight starts the Americans Motorcycle oh, Club yes. Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest. Yes, Oktoberfest is tonight at the Windy yes. Mesa. And it's uh, for child cancer. Uh, so make sure you head on out there. Yeah. Great cause. Those guys are amazing. Make sure you give them a big shout out. Over at the Windy Mesa. And today at 3 is the homecoming parade. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. No, just saying. Like I said, we're past time. No, I know. I know. Close the lip holes. All right. You guys have an amazing day. We'll catch you on the next <laughs> one. Right. guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>